will now try to study the associative property and, and we have been studying the associative property with respect to the numbers in, in, in class 7th and 8th. It, it says simply this, if you have three numbers, say, say 3, 4 and 5, it does not matter which two you add first and to the resultant of that, to the summation, to the addition of that, you add the third. So, so what it says is, you do this, you add 3 and 4 first or you add 4 and 5 first. So, so they, they'll give you the same result and they indeed do. So 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 and we say that 3 plus 9. So we mean that 12 is equal to 12 which is actually correct. That is the associated property. That is the associated property not for only the real number addition in the sense that we know that holds good for every other thing whenever you say associative we actually mean this that if there are three which two you pick up won't matter then why are we talk, talking only about three what happens when there are four then two the thing is that you'll be operating on any two so you pick up any two okay so so th this actually is extendable to all that's why we stop at this if, if it is okay with this then it's okay with others as well so, so what it says is you pick up any two so had it been 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 then it says you pick up any any two so I would have picked up this and then it says it is the same if you pick up any other 4 plus 5 plus 6 it says that oh, 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 oh you do this Okay, or, or you do this, they are all equal. After they become 3, then you again are free to choose which, which 2. So, so this is kind of 7 plus 5 plus 6 and this is 3 plus 9 plus 6 and this is 3 plus 4 plus 11. They are all the same. So, 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 and again, you are free to choose with which, whichever two, but you always get the same result. Right? This is what, in nutshell, is the addition of the real numbers. Now, the same thing holds for 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 a vector. So, so what it says is either you you either you add a to b first. Okay. So I'll I'll try to copy this. I'll copy this. Copy. I'll try to paste it. And I'll just put it like that, right? So it tells me you have A, you have to add A, B and C. It does not matter which two you take first, the result will always be the same. And it will be an interesting exercise to see it in the context of vectors, right? So what I'm doing right now is this. Right? I'm doing this. I'll, I'll keep this pasted somewhere here also to do the other one. So I have done, done A plus B there, right? I have first added A and B and, and we see that, and we see that the resultant is the resultant is nothing but but this right so so the resultant is is this the orange vector this is my resultant right now to this i decide to add i i decide to add this vector C 
okay so so what happens is, is to this i add this is that okay I, I, i'll not do that i should first copy it and then paste one here right I'd also like to paste one here for the second case. So, so let it be standing somewhere here, right? I should have, I should have also copied an A vector when it was not near this, right? So. Let's do that, or I'll do it later. So a plus b, a plus b is that, okay? A plus b is that, and and so so this vector is my resultant, right? So a plus b, right? And the resultant has to be the resultant has to be to be something like this. So so to a plus b, I, I now have two vectors. There is a resultant of a and b. This is one vector which is shown here by the orange vector, right? You see that? That's an orange vector. And to this, I have to add add c. And again, the head to tail thing has been has been uh, restored. I, I, I have ensured, uh, I have moved c in such a manner that it touches the head of a plus b. And this becomes my resultant. My resultant becomes this. Okay, my resultant becomes this. So this is in a sense a plus b, and then added to that we have c. This is what we have done. Correct? Now instead of this, if I if I do b plus c and then add a to it, now for, for that I'll have to first of all shift a as well. Let me do that. It becomes a bit messy now. I have to delete so many things. Let me minimize that mess. Okay. So, so let me copy this and and let us let us, let us paste that. If I bring it here. Then I have to do that cleaning around, right? So let me clean it. Not much difficult to do. I clean this part, I clean this part, and I'm left with this, right? This is my A vector. Now, now I will try to add these two first, okay? B and C first, okay? And how do I add that? I, I kind of This time I'll not copy, I'll, I'll just shift it. So I add B and C. Is that okay? Is that okay? I add B and C. And let us see what the vector is. The resultant vector is, is something like is, is something like this. Addition of B and C gives you a vector like this. Okay, and, and so this is the vector. This is the vector that we call B B plus C vector, right? To this I have to add A, so I kind of try to shift it, shift A, okay, and and bring it here. Right. You bring it here, you bring it here, it'll give you the same result, right? I bring it here, right? Also, kind of copy it, copy it for later reference, and paste a copy of it somewhere here. We'll use it later for for adding it like that, right? So, so, so what happens is this is a vector, and what is the resultant? You now have to deal with this 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 greenish vector here and a yellowish vector here. So, so what is the resultant? 
what is the resultant let's try to see the resultant vector is 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 this is that okay this is the resultant vector well right now now let's try to see we have a greenish vector here that was the resultant we have an orange vector here that is that is the resultant so 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 what happens let's try to see if they are the same is it, not, is it not if they are the same then if i copy it from here and try to align it here it will exactly coincide it will become coincident with that vector so let us try to do that we 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 kind of we kind of copy this from here and kind of paste it here first do that cleaning right and then try to shift it so this is my vector right it's exact in the sense that in the sense that if I try to pick it up from here and, and align it, you see it is the same vector, right? So I shift it all the way and try to see what this vector is and it seems to be slightly misaligned. That may be due to these positions shifting a little, right? Otherwise this should not have happened. Okay, this should not have happened. There seems to be some shift somewhere here. This, this is the culprit, you see? You see? This shifting a bit is the culprit. This, this tip shifting instead of here it came here and and that has slightly tilted it but but then you should see that 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 is, it should have just coincided right it should have just coincided okay yeah, th that will happen that will happen always so so uh, you have to be pretty exact about it so so this is the same vector so whether you you whatever way you go the vector is is the same and and if I had kind of Taken this vector here and and kind of kind of shifted it and instead of adding like that, I would have added it like this. Then my resultant would have been my resultant vector would have been been this, right? So my resultant would have been this vector and this, the green and this vector added, and it would have gone something like that right and, and this vector that we shifted right so, I don't know that's one. Oh, that's still there that's still there right so this was that vector right let me let me again clean it a bit this vector here if I if I decide to shift it if I decide to shift it and try to align here it is exactly the same it's exactly the same okay so it actually does not matter so so what we are trying to say is what we are trying to say is that the the vector addition is also associated vector addition is is associative so associated do we get that do we get that Fine.